Hello friends, today uh, the new set's out and we have Agatha's Cauldrons, but we don't have working pictures of our cards. Uh, but you know, some of the pictures work, so we should be thankful of some of the pictures that we have. We don't have Grist pictures. Uh, we have Yogmoth through Grist. Do you see that? The Yogmoth picture with the Grist fang. So, we should be thankful of what we do have. So, Agatha's Cauldron is... You may spend mana zone, blah, blah, blah. This top line doesn't count. Don't care. Creature control the plus one counter have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Agatha's Cauldron. Exile target card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, put a plus one counter on target creature control. So, it basically means that you can... Hey, Gris showed up. Look at that. Gris is here. But anyway, it means that once your Yogg dies, you eat it with the cauldron, and then your young wolf becomes Yogg's Yoggnist. The top line does says you may does says does say you may activate yeah, so you can proliferate with green. That is very true. Look at that, we got our cards back. Great day for Magic Online. Uh we cut down on evolutions and we cut down on children because children doesn't work well with the cauldron. We took a we put bowmasters because the bowmaster token, the amass orc has a plus one counter, so the amass orc should work. Maybe we want four bowmasters. Four, maybe we want to have the full set of four bowmasters. Let's play our prelim. This hand's sweet. I haven't tried it. I just bought the battle pass wasn't available until five minutes ago. Uh, it just it wasn't available until five minutes ago, so we weren't able to get our hands on it. We were not able to get our hands on it until just now. Like, I literally bought the token and then started streaming. Playing Warcraft 3 now, waiting for the chesties. Why is that not working? Stream Decker. Why is Stream Decker? Should work now. Let's try it again. Deck. All right. So, what plays a breeding pool? I don't know. But I do know that I want to play a Delighted Halfling. Yes. Yep. Yes, it does. That's the plan. The plan is to Yogmoth in the is to have them counter the Yog, and then us just play Agathas. Okay, so we got to do this a little bit carefully. Go green into here. She gives us wall roots. Goodbye. We would have had wall roots into Strangle Geist, but they're a hater. They hate. We needed to use this to cast the wall of roots, like because. This thing wouldn't produce double green, so we had to cast the wall roots. This had to be using our colorless, so let's go. Uh, Angry Ghost. And then, what would punish us for swinging here? Uh, I don't know. I'm swinging. Nothing? All right. Okay. So, next turn we have Uncounterable Yogmoth. I don't know what our opponent's up to. They could be scapeshift. I'm kind of thinking they're scapeshift. You're supposed to do that before you play a land, but that's okay. Yeah. I don't think... Rhinos can't play, you know, these two mana spells. Elusive Otter. Okay. So this is just a 1-1 one -one with Prowess. Creature with power less than elusive power can't block it. It's got prowess and it can't be chump blocked. Okay, so let's fetch our... We could get the Dryad Arbor here, but I think we should just get our mana situation solidified. Maybe I was supposed to get Dryad Arbor there. Okay. Do I need to make Yogg uncounterable here? I don't trust them. I don't trust that they're not playing Stern Scolding here. So, I don't really want to get Stern scolding. So, I think we're gonna... We're gonna do it like this. Just to play around Stern scolding, which is a very real possibility this deck could be playing Stern scolding. Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, we'll just put that on top. Right? On top. And... We're just passing, right? Uh, I don't really, I, I feel like 
So creatures with power less than elusive otter can't block it. So if they cast two spells, I can't block this thing anyway. So I guess I'm just swinging. Right? I'm not going to block this stupid thing. Yeah, we probably can't block anyway. So we'll just do that. And hopefully we don't die to this fucking otter. We may die to the otter, but I hope we don't. Oh, God. All right. Well, our opponent's just showed us warning we are aware that wilds of Eldraine limited leagues are paused while we investigate why they require 60 card decks visit us on our social media link does the social media link not work is that really we really we really don't work with our social media link nice i love daybreak bless their heart they're trying <laughs> so the ragavan hit the yogmoth oh my god what the fuck is this they were merc tied the whole time oh my god we were duped all right so let's think we can win this game they have a bunch of one ones and we're about to get yog so let's see one two three four five six seven so i might as well get this get dried arbor cord for yog moth boopity boppity and then start shrinking this kill the ragavan yep uh crack get dried arbor Dryad our bar and then we go green into green green doop de doop de doop de doop 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 get the Yogmoth Now the murdering must commence. Uh let's kill the otter. Actually let's kill the DRC because the DRC is the evil that we know. I'm not insulting the otter. And then let's go shoot you, sack you. Let's kill this otter. And we have the future. The technology is here. Oh, it showed up twice. Nice. Alright. Um. Yeah, that's it. We don't need to keep going, right? We don't have endurances. We're going to take the five. Then we're going to untap, play these two, and kill them. Alright. So, Ag the first test of Agatha's Cauldron... Is can we exile Dryad Arbor and then tap Yogmoth for green mana? That's all I want to do. That's the goal here. Exiling the Cauldron, tapping Dryad Arbor. Now, does Wall of Roots work too with Cauldron? We have some big questions here. You know what I mean? All right. Step number one is probably try and resolve this Blood Artist. Okay, that makes it a lot easier to do what we're about to do. Step number two is Bowmaster. All right, they're going to bolt the Bowmaster, that thing. That makes our life tremendously complicated. Uh, so we're going to go minus one, sack here, shoot here. Save targets, ping. Now we're going to shoot this, sack this. We can't kill them. I'd like to draw a cord here. If we draw a cord here, we win. But we did not draw a cord here. Uh, let's see. Should have waited on this, but I guess it's okay. So I guess we shoot this into this, shoot this, shoot this. Alright, shoot this, sack this. I think they're actually just dead yeah okay now this dies they go to eight then we play the strangaroo geist uh and then we this three six and we know the one card in their hand is we know the one card in their hand is ragavan so we're gonna kill them without fucking around with the cauldron Really unfortunately, we didn't get the cauldron out. That sucks. I mean, we, we we had to kill them, right? They had this giant murktide that was gonna hurt us. You saw it. I wanted to use the cauldron, but I had to kill them. This is a prelim. It's not a fuck around league. I mean, it's still a fuck around league. We have to make an effort to kill our opponents, unfortunately. Um, what do we want to do here? Agatha's cauldron should be pretty sweet. What do we want to cut? I think we can cut. A young wolf on the draw, and I think we want two thought seizes. We'll cut a wall of roots and we'll cut a high arc. 
and we'll cut maybe we keep the high arcs what's the worst case scenario they eat a bolt which is going to kill one of our things later maybe we cut court of actually let's let's try not playing the thought seizes all right let's try it like this all right so first take on the otter was not that impressive but early days all right this hand sucks but we have the cauldron but we really don't do anything i guess i mean if they go turn one ragavan we're kind of fucked but we don't they probably board it out ragavan so we're gonna keep this hand just because we want to play with the cauldron all right this is actually cool because the cauldron kind of keeps drc in check because you can exile a card so this should be pretty cool we're gonna have to fetch a basic here uh we did not we did not cast it because at the time we didn't need it oh good well apparently the cauldron travels in pairs it's a pack animal we're learning that the cauldron is a pack animal despite despite only playing two they travel in pairs which is a good sign you know uh, my initial thought is that this card should be sideboard. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Breeding pool. They can't cast the backside of the otter. I would ask this dude, how's otter been? But this is probably his first. Oh, it's X-File. Alright, just stop doing stuff. Don't get fucking delirium over there. God damn it. Why is it gotta be so... Is this an act is dash an activated ability it is isn't it all right okay so we are not in a good spot here not in a good spot here okay so we can playing this is just gonna die let's get our cauldron out let's exile ragavan does that give our dudes... No, I won't give our dudes a dash. Alright, let's see how this works. Unfortunately, I can't believe they left in Ragavan. That's kind of wild. I guess we'll have to leave in four wolves. No, because it only gives stuff with plus one plus one counters, right? They should have dash when they're in play, that's true. Here comes a Murktide. A 4-4. Four -four. Oh boy. Alright, so... We need to just play this Endurance now. So it doesn't get countered. Cast Endurance. Target them. Uh, I just was so... I didn't have much time, and I just was just like... The thing, for, the thing about Necromentia is that Necromentia is there specifically for Living End... Tron lands and rhinos, right? And and the end isn't good versus those. Like the end is not a solution to Urza's Tower, where Necromentia is played specifically for Urza's Tower. If that makes sense. Good. So if I exile an incident sorcery, this Merc Tide's gonna grow. I am interested in maybe trying the end for like scam or something. Get rid of all Furies forever. Oh baby. Oh, the dream. You know what I mean? Oh, no. No! I speak it evil and it comes... Oh, no. No! Not like this. I think I'm so dead here. Alright, so... Cauldron... Is not a reasonable two-drop against this kind of aggressive deck. Right? We just played it and we died. Uh, not the best showing for you, Cauldron. Not the best showing. Let's get the wall roots back. I don't think we're gonna need these on the play. We should be a lot more aggressive. I think that hand was just shit. Any hand that has a blood artist in it is kind of shit. I did keep the Cauldron thinking that it would... Uh, alright, well, here we are. I did keep the Cauldron thinking that it would keep a DRC in check. So, there is that. Alright. Let's get started. I think that the problem, the issue with Agatha's, is that it's going to be very inconsistent. Like that last game, if that Agatha's was like anything else, we probably still would have lost. But you never know. Okay. 
So they can have stubborn denial, stern whatever, to counter this. Stern whatever. That would be very sad. But this is okay, right? This is okay. Because we can go Cauldron, Exile the Grist, put it on Ignoble. And Ignoble can be a Planeswalker. How the fuck is that going to work? I But the problem... The problem with Agatha's in the sideboard is that in sideboard games, Yogma, your graveyard is already attacked. So if your graveyard is going to be attacked in sideboard games, is Agatha Cauldron even worth it? You know what I mean? That's the issue. I wonder if we create Super Goblin. Green Goblin Planeswalker. Yep, I agree. I agree with you, but we have to play it. It's just so... It seems wildly inconsistent, too. Oh, good. They got my young wolf. My answer to fucking Ragavan. Oh, God. I hate this. Cast it. Cast it. Cast it. Cast it. Why are they playing this card? This is going to come back to me. All right. Do we make the cool play? Or the good... The bad... That's... Let's do the cool play. Agatha's. Let's see if this works. Uh... Exile that. Yes! What the f... Created it, Sectelkin. He only has one loyalty. How does this work? No, he has zero loyalty. So now he has one loyalty. <laughs> uh... Okay. All right. This is going to be a good tweet. Do I tweet this out and say the future is now? Or do I wait for this to have Yawgmoth's ability? Do I wait for this to have Yawgmoth's ability and then have it have all this text? And then just say the future is... Can I move the preview over? All right. So we're going to see if this gets Yawgmoth's ability. Oh, my cam's blocking. Oops. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of this. If we actually cast a Yawgmoth, it gets countered. I, I want to wait for this to have the, the Yawgmoth ability, and then we'll tweet it. And we'll say the future is now. I don't know. What would make a good tweet? A good X or whatever the hell it is. Otter. I'm gonna cast a Yawgmoth next turn. Can you counter it so I can has Super Gooblin? Yogwath? This is actually sick, right? Because if they kill the Goblin, I can just... Uh, we'll keep this. How come Blood Artist has been in our hand every game? What's going on with you, Blood Artist? Yeah, I like that. Bowmasters is something that comes in with plus one, plus one counters already. All right, Xander's Lounge. All right, so it's probably creativity, which means they're probably going to play a Ren and Six and embarrass me for playing this high arc. Please don't have Ren and Six, please, Mr. Kind, sir. Eustamaric. Please don't. Oh, my good God. What? What? Okay, so we can progress our board or we could just get Chris going. The... You're talking about the blacksmith guy? What the hell? Shardless agent? I guess we'll just put this on top. top. Is this four color rhinos? I know who you're talking about. Uh, the blacksmith that searches top four cards for an artifact. Don't burn my guy. They pitched Shardless Agent, so they are four color rhinos. Gonna play Grist again. Grist goes up. Alright, so we have the opportunity here to develop our board. I want to try and keep this at 5 loyalty if I can. This way I can block a Rhino. 
Okay. There's a Yawgmoth in the graveyard. So now if we draw a Cauldron, we'll be in a pretty sick spot. I don't know about keeping a one-lander. Their hand must have been stacked. Cauldron. Cauldron. Okay, well, I guess I'll accept you. Fine. I should play you first. No. I'll just play Yawgmoth. And we will crack. Play you. Play Blood Artist. I'm just playing two. I'm playing two cauldrons in the tryhard list. In this tryhard list, we're playing two. We made the four cauldron test. We made this for testing. Just to test for the cauldron. Just put four in. But we have two cauldrons in right now. Um. So. We can't. We can win with the game with a Court of Calling, but I guess we could get an attack in here with the Young Wolf. Get an attack in here with the Young Wolf. Get in there for one. Show them what's up. And then I'm just going to plus and I'm going to chill, right? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? If they kill the Yogg, I'll draw a bunch of cards and hurt them. And probably kill them next turn with Grist. Okay. How do we beat Rhinos? Necromentia. Soulless Jailer. Players cannot cast non-creature spells from their graveyards or exile. Uh, exile should stop Shardless Agent. I'm pretty sure it does. Shardless. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys. When you cast a spell, exile cards from the top of your library. Until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. But it's from exile. So therefore, ipso facto, you cannot cast it. You cannot cast it. Um, Do we want to play some Thought Seizes? What's going to be bad against them? Bowmaster is not great against them, right? They don't really draw cards. Playing a 2-2 in the face of, four, of 10 power is kind of dumb. No, because Cord, Cord doesn't... It means my undying stuff doesn't work, right? It means Strangeroot Young Wolf don't work, but they can't cast card. Oh, that's kind of bad. I shouldn't be playing this card. I guess we could cat we could like cord into it in response, right? So maybe it works. Let's cut the evolutions because they play Force Negation. Let's bring in some Thought Seizes. Yeah, we just kill it when we want a combo. Let's cut a Young Wolf because Young Young Wolf's kind of ineffective. If they're playing four color, they're probably playing um, Leyland Binding. So we're going to bring in the Haywire Might and we're going to cut uh, a Strangeru Geist. And we're going to have two Thought Seizes, the two Necromentias, and we're going to go like this. These, I don't know, these four cards of this hand are good. These are not good. This is probably too many lands. We have to mulligan. Okay. We can keep this. I think we're probably going to put back the Young Wolf. Xander's Lounge again. I don't think we're going to be as lucky and have them not do anything for the first couple of turns. Uh, let's get this. Let's play you. We'd have to... You can't sack a creature, right? So that's kind of like the issue with Beseech. Right? So the issue with Beseech, yeah, is that bargain, I think. Let's find out. You have to sacrifice artifact, enchantment, or token. So you'd have to play a bunch of, you'd have to change the deck. You'd have to play a bunch of like token makers. You'd have to play like um, colony gardens. And it works with Bowmaster, right? So it works with Bowmaster. It would work with, like, Jadar. The guy who makes decayed zombies. It would work with, like, Grist. Right? So you could do it, but it's a different deck. Yeah. it's It would be very hard to go turn one um, Colony Garden into, like, triple black on three. Right? Goose does make tokens, right? So you could do it. It is technically possible, but it's a lot of commitment to, to, you know, and you just, you know, it's a lot of commitment to 
to have just a bad, a, a more expensive version of Eldritch Evolution, in theory. But it could be done, but you have to build the deck, the deck. You'd have to build it a little bit differently. Okay, what'd they do? They land cycled for that. Okay, cool. Um, we could play the Grist here, but I feel like I want to expand my, expand my board as much as possible here. So we're going to go Wall of Roots into Strangerroot Geist. There's, there's actually a really sick deck, Ronin. There's the potential for a very sick deck in uh in this um what was i looking at oops all spells right it fits right in oops all spells because now you're then you're able to play 10 12 12 16 win cons and you're already playing the artifacts right so in oops all spells it fits how to build it i don't know but it does fit in oops all spells and I do think it will be a real player in this deck. Obviously, if you look, I haven't really worked on it. But I just have this theory-crafted list just to show people that I think it would work. Uh, attack you. Now, if they cord here, if they pass the turn and leave up um, core, if they pass the turn and leave up the instant speed one, we can cord for the 4 in response. If they just slam agent... We could just Grist kill one. Or we could just play this plus get a Yogg. You'd have to change the mana, right? You'd have to change this. Make a bunch. Yeah, it gets it gets weird. Alright, so they're going to make Rhinos here. Here comes Rhinos. Five color coffers. It'd probably be a little bit easier with without the five colors. But, you know. You do you. Whatever works for you. Okay. We can go one, two, three, play Grist plus Grist. Then next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough. We could cord now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can cord now and get a Yogmoth. Or we could just go Grist, kill this. I kind of like one, two, three, four. Grist, kill this. All right, let's do this. Let's play the Grist. Let's kill a Rhino token. And then if they go to get another set of Rhinos, we can cord for the... Oh, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, I guess we'll put that on top. That sucked. All right, we're going to take a beating this turn. What they pitch? They subtlety pitch subtlety. I mean, Beseech the Mirror is for Legacy, in my opinion. All right, we're going to take eight here. Sucks. Okay, we cannot deal with another set of Rhinos here. So, do I need to cord for this after or before? All right, let's think about this. How's this? I don't know how this rule works. I've never used this card before. So... Let's think about this. Uh, Jailer. So, players can't cast non-creature spells from exile or graveyard. Do I need to put this? Do I need to cast? Yeah, I need to do it before it goes on the stack. Because if it's on the stack, it's too late. So I need to cord right now. This does not put us in a good position. Uh, let's get Soulless Jailer. Okay. Fortunately, we're probably still dead. We need to draw Yogmoth like now. Even though we just threw away our Yogmoth. Okay. All right. Uh. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have two cards in their hand. Uh, what are the odds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Do I wait for them to attack with these things and surprise make a Yogmoth minus do some good blocking? Or, 
But if I do that, it opens me up to Force of Negation cast. I'm vulnerable to Force of Negation now. Let's do this. Yes, Jailer is symmetrical. The Stranger Geist won't come back unless I sack the Jailer. Let's cord now. Colorless. Let's get Yawgmoth. This way they have at least opportunity to have Force Negation or something up. Alright, so now we can sacrifice this, minus, sacrifice this, minus, and then we can proliferate, and then we can block and do some stuff. Alright, we'll be okay. We should be okay. Okay, you like to attack me. Alright, so we have to sack the Solus Jailer first to put counters on this stuff. So we have to go sack, sack, proliferate. Hit the Solus Jailer. Alright, what's coming now? Leyland Binding on Yawgmoth? What's happening? Leyland Binding. What are you targeting? Targeting Yawgmoth? Alright, so let's go... Shoot this one, sack this one. Okay, so that's gonna get a counter. Now this one's gonna get a counter too, but I think I go sack here i guess i need to sack here sack this and then i need to minus this proliferate both of these down proliferate this up or can i tap this and take a point of damage and leave this around if i do that i'm gonna go to three because i'm gonna four and then i'm gonna take two from this let's do that keep this wild wild roots around Discard a card. Um, proliferate both of these down. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Done. Now Yawgmoth is going to get exiled. Now one of these rhinos is going to be shrunk one more time. Ooh, cauldron. Then we're going to block here. Block here. We'll take one. We'll go to five. And hopefully they don't have another Rhinos thing. God damn it. I mean, it's impossible to beat this with Force Negation or with Subtlety, Rhino, Rhino. Just, we're just dead. Just dead. Nothing we can do. No. No. Beseech the Queen's just better, right? Beseech the Queen is just a better card. Um, I think we want more thought seizes if they're going to be playing so much fancy shit. Bullis Jailer did a little bit of work, but it does definitely hurt us. The thing with Pair of Lost Dice is just, like, it's just not going to be anywhere near as good as, uh... It's not going to be anywhere near as good as, um... Uh, Beseech the Queen. Beseech the Queen is just the future of Storm. The future of Storm is here, and it's Beseech... And it's... The future of Storm is here right now. And it is, um, Beseech the Mirror. When can we, ex as soon as this prelim's over. As soon as this prelim's over, we're firing up Legacy with Beseech Storm. This is the first deck we're going to play. We're actually going to talk about if we want Brainstorms in it or not. Or we're going to talk about it, but that's after this prelim. We're starting with Yogg with Agatha's and then we're going to go to Beseech. Alright, would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, I guess we can keep this. No Necromanches, but we do have the Walls of Jericho, which we can raise. Like, the issue is, like, on one hand, you could play, like, this black base list. Like, you can, you can Beseech the Queen and sack Carpet of Flowers. So we're really gonna see if we need to have all these zeros, or if we play, like, Urza's Bobble, where we play, like, eight redraws. But then that makes us a lot worse to... Like, if we need to play all of these... Dragon card from Lord of the Rings art gift set? What? What you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ignoble Hierarch! Let's go. Don't kill my guy. Just play some stupid tap land. Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. My little guy is an innocent. Don't kill my guy! What the hell is this? The suspend? Dismember my guy. They're at 13 to dismember my guy. Wish I had a Strangroot Geist to punish them. Play this land. 
Oh, I wish I had a strength group guys to hurt them. I guess they have a subtlety too, or they wouldn't be tanking on this so hard. I guess there's a subtlety in my future as well. I would like to draw Necromentia. That's what I would like to draw. A land, Necromentia, Thoughtseize, Grist. Do we walls up or do we Grist? I think if we Grist and they subtlety it, it would be very bad. So I think we walls up. Ooh, let the walls up. Imagine if we had cord here. We could cord for the thing to the O4 to stop them. We'd have all the butt. Walls of Jericho. I got to. I hate rhinos. I just hate it. It's such an OP deck. Here's 10 power for 3 mana. Go dumb. Alright. And now they get to just play a bunch of free spells in their hand. So they're probably going to just play... Rhinos is Yawgmoth's hardest matchup there is. Like, if they have a subtlety in their hand, we just can't win. Uh, I'm going to get a forest here. We're going to try for Yawgmoth. It's going to get subtletyed, and we're going to lose. Hey, Skip. Thank you for the subscription for six months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yep. And now we're dead. And now we're dead. We do have this 05. We have... The, I, I kept this as an 04, so it could block this, and an 05 that blocks here, and we take 4. So we're only going to 13. If they have... Uh, if they have... Violent Outbursts, we're going to lose. If we have outbur If they have Outbursts, we lose. Just the way the world works when it comes to rhinos. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Rhinos doesn't have new cards. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I guess when we were testing, we didn't test. What if something has two loyalty and you minus two it? Does it die? It probably doesn't die as a creature. When we were testing, we didn't check that. But we should have. You may sacrifice a creature when you do. What if you have two loyalty on something and then you minus two it? It probably loses the loyalty, but then what happens? Probably doesn't matter, right? The loyalty doesn't affect... It shouldn't murder the creature. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't die. Why? What is our opponent tanking on? I guess it's a good thing. Because if they had Eldritch... If they had Violent Outburst, they would just turn sideways, you know? Uh, the Cauldron, Manny. The Agatha's Cauldron. That's kind of cool. Hermit. That's kind of cool. Alright, our opponent's in the tank. Our opponent is in the tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are we in the tank about, opponent? What do you got? Boopity, 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 boop. Can you just not put another set of rhinos on the board? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Don't put more rhinos on the board. I guess I need to build more rhinos. We're just dead. I need to have a way to deal with resolved rhinos. And I've been slacking on it. I guess we might be able to kill them next turn. They're just attacking with one? What the fuck? Sure, I'll take five. All right. All right, I need to, I'm gonna draw Yawgmoth. Okay, so, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna go minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. We're gonna play Yogg. One, two, three, four. Boop, boop. Guess I have to use this. I want to keep this one at five. I don't have a subtlety. If they have an answer for this, we're, we're dead. We're so dead. I mean, we're probably dead anyway. What do you have? What on earth do you have? What on earth do you have? They can't have... They can't... They shouldn't have that, right? Because they have... Okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we get out of this? I think we need to sack this wall roots here. We need to draw a land, a black land. I don't know how the fuck we get out of this. This is a lot of power of trample creatures, but we could play the blood artist and then we can like sack, sack. But we really need to proliferate. Really need to proliferate. We need young wolf here. We need to draw exactly young wolf. 
Yeah, they probably don't have an untapped white source, and they probably... Oh, they just have Dismember. All right. So, Dismember, two Dismembers, a Subtlety, and 20 power on turn four. Too much. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Too much for us. I guess Rhinos is still the bane of the existence. Uh, we could play some Reactionary. The problem with playing Reactionary cards like... Um, explosives and stuff like that is they play counters they play so many ways to deal with it you know ee like they could just have leyline binding the ee you know there's a bunch of things they can do but when they have pitch counter into dismember dismember what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to do about that i don't know i needed some uh, aggressive hand hate cards did i have fun in this match what do you think Oh shit, they showed up. Okay. Well, they showed up. With one minute to spare, they showed up. Uh, there I see. Alright, sorry. I was just trying to kill time. I didn't think they'd show up. DRC? What the hell plays Inspiring Vantage DRC? This must be some kind of burn deck, obviously. Uh, let's just play the Wall of Roots. That blocks that the best. Sorry for being late. No worries. Looks like it's just burn. Burn with Dragon Rage Chandler. Yep. Looks like it's just burn. Oh, we drew a land. That's lovely. Block the two. Maybe they boat the Wall of Roots, but that's fine, right? Look at our hand. Uh, yep. Yep. Yippers. Okay. So now we're going to go one, two, Wall of Roots. Now the question is, do we want to shock ourselves here? Shocking is kind of bad. We go to 16, but we'll have a blocker for this. They won't be able to attack. They have 13. Or we could just play Delighted Halfling, put this into play tapped. I mean, the Halfling can block this thing. Let's just stay at a high life total. And have more mana next turn, right? So now we are now we're, we have a blocker for here, blocker for here. Obviously land into um, Boros Charm. Sure. We have two cards left. We're at 11. Oh, that's so annoying that this thing got delirium. All right, we're at eight. So we're going to need to play Grist and kill this thing. We can't afford to play Yogg this turn. One, two, three. Grist. Play Land. Play Young Wolf. Sacrifice Young Wolf. Kill the DRC. I should have done that different and paid with Gris with this, and then I would have had enough to Strangle Geist this turn. Instead, I'm just wasting this mana. Oh well. So hopefully they don't just have eight points of burn in their hand. Okay, so we're going to go minus one, two. Guess we want to use this as black, this is black, and then one black here. Want to play Yogmoth. Okay, so we want to be able to proliferate. So let's go shoot this, sack this. If I play this land, I won't be able to proliferate. Let's play Stranger Geist. Hit this, sack this. Uh, play this. I'm going to take one from this, go to five. Might as well just kill this thing. I guess I'll sack Dryad Arbor so I can kill them with Proliferate. Now. Oh, okay, change in plans. Change in plans. We just pass the turn, and when they tap out, we just kill them. Or should I just do it now? I should just do it now. One, two, three. 
Support for a blood artist. Target this, sack this. Yay! Okay. If they are going to be playing... If they are going to be playing uh, DRCs, I want Endurances. They're a very good blocker. I also want Scavenging Goose. Gain some life. Uh, I also like Haywire Might. Haywire Might kills the enchantment. It gains us two life. Uh, I don't think we have time to fuck around with Agatha's Cauldron. I think this might be a little too cute versus them. I don't think Bowmaster is going to do that much. I mean, it does make a bunch of blockers. In general, I think Bowmaster is kind of weak against them. I guess they, it does block well. I guess it blocks kind of good. I guess we'll keep the Bowmasters. We'll cut this. Yeah, they do kill DRCs. We'll cut a Grist. And we'll cut a... I guess we can cut an Endurance. Maybe we cut the Grists. We'll cut two Grists. All right, let's try this. Just so we can have dudes that are proactive for the battle. Not this time. All right, uh, we'll keep this. Turn one, Dork. Turn two, Bowmaster. Bowmaster's into evolution. Uh-oh. The clock has arrived. We're drawing a young wolf. Uh, I actually think I play the young wolf here. I think the young wolf will buy me the most time. Because if I play one of these things and they just searing blaze it, I'm just taking a million damage. But I'll chump block here, and then I'll have a 2-2 that can deal with that thing. We're for sure chump blocking. Court of Calling. That's a good draw. We'll keep. We'll try and keep our life total as high as possible. Okay. Uh. So, like, look at this situation, right? This thing was a Grist, and we were casting a Yawgmoth. If they countered it... We just exiled it with Cauldron, and then we had this. So we had super. We had we would have two Grists, and we'd have two Yawgmoths. It puts it puts certain counterspell decks in weird situations. It's very 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 good with Grist. All right, so we're just gonna hold up, and then we'll Bowmaster them when they attack us. It literally won us game two, right? We played. We went turn one High Arc, turn two Grist. They stern scolding it. Turn three. We played Cauldron, put this plus. Turn four, we cast Yawgmoth, and they conceded. Uh, no, because you, you take the, the specific deck that has the highest chance of getting. Like, you, you would build the deck that has the highest chance of getting the stickers based off real-life stuff. All right, so we're going to hit that for one, block with the thing, kill this thing. Get it dead. Get it dead. We want it dead. That was game two. They had Otter in play. It's it's just like... It like... Turns your creatures into Grists. Right? So you get multi-Grist. You get... Oh no! I tapped this for black! Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Obviously I didn't mean to... Obviously I meant to go high arc, high arc attack with this. But I was talking about... Cauldron. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Pro plays over here. Pro plays. It may not be okay. We may have lost the game because of that, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, they're just... If they have the burn spells, we're dead anyway. Their just hand is full of gasoline. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, having an extra hierarchy here wouldn't really matter much if their hand is just full of burn, and it appears to be. Uh, let's draw land. All right, so let's think. We can go one, two, three, evolution, get scavenging ooze, eat this, go to six. I guess that's our best play. Attack with Bowmaster. All right, then we're going to go one, two, three. Evolution the Bowmaster away? They could sack this cauldron. But I think I want the green. Let's just sack this. Let's get El Scavenging Ooze Reno. Scavenging Ooze. Let's eat this here goblin guide. And let's go to five. Let's go to six. 
One Kimoda. Thank you for the 14 months. That's way too kind. All right, they're banking that they're going to draw a burn spell that's going to do three damage to me. What a gamble instead of killing the ooze. If ooze lives, we're going to five. Oh, get wrecked. Get riggedy wrecked. Oh, Mishra's Bobble. These spells are not burn spells. Okay. So now we're going to go eat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's think. We're going to eat... Bowmaster. Okay. Now we're going to eat Young Wolf. And I think that we play High Arc. Attack with Ooze. We can't really attack with the Ooze, right? Maybe play Halfling for them to kill it. I don't know. I'm not really sure, Bolt. It was kind of cracked when we cast it. This was kind of cracked. Uh, let's play. Halfling doesn't produce green, but I'm ready to like throw it away to block. Do I attack here and then chump with this? They're drawing two cards, so they could easily draw a burn spell. But this does present a very fast clock. But if they go land, searing blaze, kill this, I'm dead. Let's just pass. Let's just pass. Okay, glad I didn't, uh, glad I didn't attack. Hello, friend. Okay. So, can we get Yogmoth plus Blood Artist out? We go one. We tap one, two, three, four. That's Yogmoth. We'll have Yogmoth, and then we can play High Arc. We have one, two, High Arc, Yogmoth. All we need to do is sack these two to draw land, and then we can go Scavenger Goose, the High Arc, Yogmoth. One, two, or it'd be one, two, three for Yogmoth. Now we need a little bit more. Honestly, I kind of like just sacking this. Yeah, so they're just on one card. We're at five life. I think we just want to get Blood Artist here. I think we just want to set up for next turn. We can't actually die. Yeah. We can't die, right? So let's just play creatures. And then we'll cord for a blood artist if they attack. Right? So now we have cord for blood artist. You know, they're not going to do anything crazy. All right. Yield to the turn. They can't five us. They cannot five damage us. Okay. All right, friend, bad news. Bad news, bears. All right, so cord, uh, boop, 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 boop. Done. Let's get the artist. Now we go to our turn. Then we go black, 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 Yogmoth. Now we have black, black, green, green, green. Now we're getting Elgeist Arena, and then the murder commence. The Goblin Guide, sack this. Save targets, ping. We have a land drop, we're just looking for another undying creature. So now we target this, sack this. You get an infinite stacking geist. Uh, then ping with artist. Well, I'm gonna sack my dudes and murder your board until I draw another undire. <laughs> So now we're gonna go like this, like this. I can't avoid that, right? No, well, I could. I can't avoid that, right? I could have bricked, but I drew it through the wolf. So now I'm just gonna bounce 
awesome. So now it's like this, like this. I'll show ya. I'll show ya. Iggy. Alright, so always yield. Always yield. So now we shoot this one, sack this one. <laughs> A YouTube sub, I appreciate it. So boop, bop, bop. Boop. Boop, boop. That would be a different deck. You honest? Oh boy. Uh oh. Somebody made a boo boo. Somebody made a boo boo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Somebody made a boo boo. Explain quality. <laughs> boop, buddy, boop, buddy. Uh, bop, 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 boop. Yay! Oh, I'm pretty fast with it in these days. All right, GG's. Okay, right, let's. We can't keep this. Uh, nope. Okay. Do we want to keep the cauldron? I think if we want to play this game seriously, we can't keep the cauldron. I think we need to keep these two car these cards and hope. Yeah. I think Cauldron has a lot of potential. Alrighty. What plays Ketria Triome? Hopefully not rhinoceroses. Hopefully, surely not rhinoceroses. Oh crap. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played enough with it. It's too early, you know? Alan the Kindly Lord. Let's take a look at that card. What is Talon the Kindly Lord? Uh, I guess I should have control left. Talon the Kindly Lord. Wow. That's interesting. I don't know if it's constructed good. It might be. You just name one or something? That's weird. Oh, we're so dead. This is Rhinos, and uh, we're so dead. We are unbelievably dead. We are so dead here, in fact. Good, 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 good. If we attack here, we get murdered by the Horde. You do get to draw a card with that card, right? It's pretty cool. Why the hell would you ever name 10? That's so silly. 10 is such a silly number. All right, here comes Cascading Footfalls. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. All right, I have neglected rhinos in my sideboard for a long time, and now it has come to punish me. Mm-hmm. I was trying the, the, the two drop, right? I was trying the two drop instead of the necroplasm. I don't want you naming 15 for Emrakul. True. True, 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 true. It is an interesting card. I could see you playing it in like the blue white control deck, blue black control deck, but the problem is it's not really ever going to be better than Shieldred. It's very interesting. Um, bu -bu -bum. we need to draw, we need to draw, oh, that's sick. That'll really help us here. That'll really help us here. Um, bu -bu -bum, bu -bum -bum. we are so dead. We are so dead. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right. Bring you in. Bring you six in. We're gonna cut Eldritch Evolutions. I don't want to get. I don't want to get Force of Negation with these. Uh, we're gonna keep Agatha's in for now. Bowmaster does literally nothing. Young Wolf is kind of underpowered. We'll cut a Strangeru Geist and we'll cut a Grist. We'll play some aggressive cards. Out aggressive cards. Okay. Let's see if our proactive approach can work. If not, we're going to need to do some readjusting of our sideboard. We'll have to play Necro. Why don't we just play... Go back to Crime Punishment, Engineer Explosives, those kind of cards. Those have been played in the past. But we can't be playing Elvish Chorus and stuff if we're just going to get hosed by Rhinos so hard. Well, hopefully we don't get killed by rhinos this hard, so we'll see. We will see. We're keeping the cauldrons because they're cool. Might not be good, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, it lets you do really crazy things with Grist, this cauldron. It's very powerful with Grist. You turn all your creatures into Grist, and you make a bunch of dudes. It's very powerful. It's mo We're mostly just trying it out. This is an experiment. Yeah, it's... it's it it has potential. Like, it won us this game, right? Gris was a thing. It, like, look at this game. If if we played this, right? This is our turn four. We went turn one high arc. Then we turn two, we played a Grist. They countered it. Turn three, we played Agatha's. Turned this into a Grist. Plus, made a token. Now we play this. If they counter it, we get two Grist. We get two Yawgmoths and two Grists. I like to play first. We don't have any interaction, but we're going to keep it. Because we can, uh, if, since we're on the play, we should be able to cord for the, the O4 and stop them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We obviously need more testing with it. And it seems like it's going to end up being a sideboard card. But we'll see. You know, it's it's the world is open right now. But the problem, the problem with playing it in the sideboard is that in games two and three, our graveyard as a Yawgmoth player is attacked. Well, that's really bad for us. Because now they can stomp out. They can kill our guy. That's kind of unfortunate for us. If they turn two, kill our guy. Turn three, do the thing. Yeah, so they've stolen the play, basically. And now we won't be able to cord for the guy we want to cord for. That really sucks. Play you. Play you. If we had one more turn, we could do it. But now they're going to just be able to make eight power and play. Well, we have we have the cards to beat them. We have a Yawgmoth, plus we have two cords. Yeah. Yeah, you can use it proactively. All right. This is really good for us. Because they're going to end step... They're going to end step, um, try and go for it, and we're just going to cord for the two drop. It should work. It should work. This should work, knock on wood. Okay. Boop. Okay, so this comes into play. We get our two drop. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. We did it. I've I've been stomped on too many times by rhinos. We did it. We live the dream. We are the champions. But stomped on too many. That was the plan. Yeah, but one is trying to. You can't poach my rhinos. All right. However, if they do have a fury, they go boop boop boop. And these guys don't come back. So we have to be somewhat careful here. Alright. So now we do... We play Yawgmoth. We're going to play Yawgmoth. They're probably going to play a Subtlety here. Nice. Uh, the Soulless Chiller. Uh, they weren't dead. Because this thing prevents creatures from entering the battlefield so we can't use our dudes 
But it's still... Yeah, but I can't kill them. I can't kill them. All right. Uh, run it back. Yeah, I could sack Jailer, but then they can Rhino and, like, do stuff. So, I don't know. It's a weird spot. I do know that I cannot keep this hand. So, we have to move again. I guess we're going to keep this. Turn one, Thoughtseize. Turn two. We're on the draw, right? So, we're on the draw. We're going to put back Blood Artiste. We're going to put back Blood Artist. Uh, we might turn one Halfling, or we might turn one Thoughtseize. I don't know. I don't know. We are going to draw the land. Oh, uh, let's test in it. It might be too proactive and not. Okay, what are we going to draw? What are we going to draw? What are we going to draw? Let's draw land. And land. Yeah. Um, we need to get black here. Uh, I'm gonna have... I wonder if Magistrate might not just be better. But the problem with Magistrate is that we literally can't cast it. Without Birds of Paradise, we literally can't cast Magistrate. If it's in our hand... Okay, friends. Do we go big for the Gamba, or do we go little for the Gamba? Playing just Thoughtseize. Playing just the Thoughtseize here, like we waste two mana. So, Gamba. 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 No! <laughs> All right. But it worked as a pseudo Thoughtseize because we did take a Charlotte's Agent. Like, if we were to draw a Magistrate here, it would just be the worst. All right. Please don't have Rhinos. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cool. Well, we're dead. Necromentia had failed us. And even if we thought seize them, they had two Shardless Agents. I guess we're not dead dead if their hand is total bricks. Because we can play Yogg here. Then we can like block minus. I don't know. If we shoot this and block, we die to so much. This dead to so much. We have to take eight. We're going to need all the mana I can get next round. Okay. We have a Maya. I guess we could play Yavamaya. And then we can block. Block, block. Cord one two one two three one young wolf shoot shoot the other proliferate all right that's our game plan hoping they have absolute air in their hand we need to go one two three four young wolf and then pass okay oh good the other rhinos come off suspend here that's terrific that is terrific all right so we have to go we have to go block block okay now we have to cord boop 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 boop, boop. done now we get a young wolf we shoot this sack this get a counter draw a card we have to sack this and shoot this, or do we shoot this and sack this? I guess I probably need to keep this around to block these things. So I need to shoot this on this and then proliferate down to take two. Shoot this, sack this. And now we have to go discard a card. Discard you. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Okay. Uh, desperate. Oh, now we go play you. One, two, Strangaroo Geist. And then we play High Arc. And now we shoot a Rhino. And then we have a Proliferate. Can we attack? Can we? No, we can't attack. We have to just pass here and hope they continue to draw absolutely nothing. 
let's see what we can draw here. If we are going to draw, we should draw now to see if we hit Blood Artist or Cord or something like that. So, Wall of Roots blocks this one, but we can't proliferate. But I don't know if we necessarily need to proliferate. Because we can Wall of Roots here, and then block the O5, block this one, block here. I think we play the Wall of Roots. I don't want to go lower than 2 because of Fire Ice. So, we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. And then next turn, we'll do more proliferating. We just die to a fire ice, so I don't want to just risk and search. I guess I just start proliferating these two up. Let's see what we draw here. Delighted halfling. Uh, I guess we play the... Uh, discard a card. Let's go down, down, up, up. Am I playing this or do I want to save it for proliferate? I probably want to save it. I don't know if you should buy them either. Like, if we drew one right now, it'd be pretty useless. Yeah, we need to... Uh, but I can't fetch because I pitched the other Overgrown Tomb. I don't have a Black Source with this. But I'm okay attacking and trading this 4-4 for this Rhino. Am I? No. Uh, I gotta get a clock on him. I don't like just sitting here, but... I don't like just sitting here, but I guess that's what we have to do. Don't be a fury. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty annoying. We might have to draw down to one while they're tapped out. While they're tapped out right here, we might have to draw down to one life. So I think we go minus one here, play the delight the halfling. Put a counter on this. I think we have to go down to one. Try and get a Blood Artist to win the game. Delighted Halfling. Because I don't think we can let them untap with four cards in their hand. I think that's bad. Well, I'm going to play this. I guess we have one draw step. One draw step here. And we failed. Shit. Now we're probably just dead. Probably just dead to fire here, unfortunately. Discard you. Proliferate, 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 proliferate. I wanted to cord for I want to get blood artists and then cord here. Kill these two. Well, if they didn't draw it this this next turn. If they didn't draw Fire Ice, we're just dead. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now we're just going to get fired. Fire Iced. We're just going to get Fire Iced. Yeah. If not, we're in an okay spot. Fire Ice over there, okay? No Fire Ice over there, okay? No Fire Ice. I think that sad face means that they have a fire ice, and I think I'm dead. Oh well, so sad. Maybe we were supposed to stay at three. Jeez. Maybe we were supposed to stay at three. Well, Kaldra didn't really. I mean, Kaldra's not saving Yogmoth, right? It's not. Saving Yogmoth. It's not the best solution. Alright, so let's let's talk about it. 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 Um It's very inconsistent. It was very good in the first match we played, right? It put our opponent in an impossible position where they literally conceded on turn four to Cauldron. We can actually, so like, in this game it was really good, and other than that, it didn't really do much. We didn't draw it against Rhinos. 
I think I need to readjust my sideboard plan against Rhinos. Ha <laughs> ha